change is inevitable. Change is constant. So said Disraeli. Change can also be breathless. For since his day, this frail machine which flew on a wing and often a prayer has led to this, the latest among the world's civil jets. Today, man beats the sun. Tomorrow, who knows? As he probes into space, a new challenge to his questing spirit. This spirit is sustained by his physique, for though working harder than ever, he lives longer, thanks to great advances in medicine and surgery. So he has more time to study his universe, to unravel its secrets, and enrich his knowledge. Nowhere is the full extent of change more apparent than on city skylines, which are being pierced by towering needles of concrete and steel and courageous new symbols of people's faith and constancy. For in a changing world, men and women do not change. Or do they? Do women change? Look at this. Then jump 50 years to the absolute limit. The cry used to be 10 cents a dance. What price jive? Rock and roll. And the twist. Maybe the Charleston started more than we know. Who wears the pants? Women fill them better, for if they won the vote, they lost the art of concealment. And as for some men, a sweater, a pair of jeans, and winkle pickers is the uneasy compromise between the overdressed 18th century dandy and the formal city gent. If it's missing, then add it. Which is a far cry from pinching the color into one's cheeks and additions did not be confined to the face. Perhaps people only change as fashion appears to change them. But with women, it all started over 4,000 years ago. agree that whatever else changes, women are constant in their search for beauty. To change a woman's heart may be difficult. To change the face is a matter of minutes. And the old proverb, change yourself and your fortunes will change too, takes on a new meaning. No one has done more to help women change themselves and maybe their fortunes than the house of Max Factor. And today as ever, women come to Max Factor's Bond Street Salon for beauty treatment from experts. Seven o'clock and two London char ladies arrive for their daily chore. A gal doesn't have to look her best for a job like this. By the time the rest of us were starting, they were finished. Whatever the age, what better than a morale booster with powder and lipstick? Besides, a girl's got to look her best in company. In the salon, the busy day continues. And across the street at head office, 
a sales promotion campaign for new lines in lipstick and eyeshadows gets underway. Led by Mr. Jack Klein, head of Max Factor in Great Britain. Sales promotion creates a demand in the salon, chemists and stores throughout the country, and the ideal home exhibition for Max Factor is there too. Here women can look and learn and be made up. The ceaseless efforts of executives and experts in the service of beauty have contributed to this transformation. These products are backed by 50 years of research and know-how. Everything is made in Max Factor's modern factory on the outskirts of Bournemouth. It's an absolute treasure house. In the perfume room, there are rare essences, oils and perfumes from all over the world. They are measured and mixed to precise formulas for issue to the factory's many different production lines. There's a fortune, too, in raw materials. The steroids oxides and waxes which have been imported from countries from Venezuela to Africa and New Zealand. Before any raw material is issued, it is sampled, tested and analyzed. Here, green chromium oxide is being tested and further tests will be made before it goes into production. Quality control is the keynote of the Max Factor success story. Once the raw materials have been passed for production, the dry powder, main ingredient of cream puff, is measured and weighed. Then it is sifted and pulverized to the fine consistency demanded. It is here that the silky smooth finish is determined. Liquid makeup is then poured into this compressor alongside the drums containing the dry powder. As it is mixed and pulverized, the liquid makeup is sprayed onto it, giving a slightly moist creamed up powder. It is fed into machines like this, which compress it into something every woman recognizes. Then stacked to await final assembly. Believe it or not, these darker cream puffs meet the demands of an expanding African market. Cream Puff, ready to woo women the world over. Just one of many quality products produced here every day. Each stage of manufacture has been watched over by the chief analyst and his staff, like brooding hens. They know the product is the best, and the public knows it too. The raw materials which come in from all over the world go out from here as finished articles to as many countries again. This special parcel containing samples from the factory's daily output is going to Max Factor Hollywood. These other shipments for consumers east and south of Suez. The Hollywood lab will test these samples for quality. Nothing is left to chance. 
This concern for detail starts at the top. Is a lipstick worth the time spent on it by busy executives? Yes, for the same spirit exists in the factory where the cream caramel range is being manufactured. Lipstick contains waxes and organic coloring matter, which are brought together, mixed and emulsified, then put into these roller mills for blending. Exciting new shades to adorn women's lips and to tantalize their menfolk. The molten lipstick is poured into molds and then super cooled in refrigerators. Meantime, samples from this production batch are being tested and compared for shade against a color master. It is done visually, but strangely, no machine has yet been developed which can replace the accuracy of the human eye. Out pop the familiar lipstick bullets, part of a woman's ammunition. All they need is a container, and they're finished. Many containers are made in the plastics division. An attractive design is being embossed on the lids of cream puff containers. Here, the bases, screws, and outer cases of pan stick are being put together to form one unit. Men are not forgotten. This 16-head rotary filler is filling bottles of aftershave lotion. In one continuous process, the bottles are filled, capped, and labeled. Just one of the Factor for Men range. Eye makeup, exciting, tantalizing. Everything set for a nationwide sales campaign. Eyes, lips, complexion, they have all been taken care of. Materials, formulas, the labor of thousands, all for women in the routines of home and family, or to add to the enchantment of that important night out. The face of all the world is changing, and from high over London's Piccadilly Circus, we are reminded of the part played by Max Factor. <laughs>